What's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical, average American here today to react and learn about Tusenfred Amusement Park in Oslo. Uh, I, I, I get the feeling that I didn't pronounce that very well. Tusenfred? Tusenfred? I'm gonna have to go with that, but <laughs> sorry if I can't pronounce it. Uh, I've never really been aware that there was a full amusement park in Oslo. And uh, that being said, I've never seen any kind of amusement park in Norway. Now, I, I get the feeling that an amusement park in the United States and an amusement park in Norway are, they gotta be pretty similar, right? There's only, there's only so many ways you can do an amusement park. It has rides, it has games, you have fun, there's roller coasters, there's not that much to it, like, uh, so I'm, I'm guessing that the parks are gonna be pretty similar between the US and Norway, uh, but I am uh, interested in the kinds of rides that the park has to offer. I mean, it is an amusement park. Amusement parks, no matter where they are in the world, are cool, and I imagine this, I imagine this one in Oslo is probably pretty cool as well. So let's take a look. Ooh. Oh. All attractions are categorized as soft, moderate, or intense. Okay. <laughs> An intense ride. Yeah, I mean, that those do exist. Sounds good. Lupin. The loop. Moderate. This is like the most classic looking uh, amusement park ride I've ever seen. This is like the most standard ride I have ever seen. This is what I think of when I think of an amusement park ride in America. <laughs> I mean, this looks fun. When I was younger, I, uh, I was so, so scared of amusement park rides that I loved rides like this where, like the one we just saw, where it was kind of, it looks like a big scary ride, uh, but when you actually ride it, it's like pretty moderate, like they said, and pretty easy. There's no huge hills or anything, so I loved rides like this that were kind of medium. Oh, best, best of far's Bill, Grandpa's car. Hello. So, <laughs> yeah, 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 I, I'm familiar with these. This is for our kids. Oh! Frost can hop it. Mini space shot. <laughs> yeah, a tiny little dropper. Belong Ferden. Belong Ferden? Mini Ferris wheel. So, uh, amusement parks in Norway also have all of the, we call them kitty rides or rides for little children. <laughs> that you have to go in if you're a parent. <laughs> you're forced to go in them as well. Oh, oh man, this brings back memories. Yeah, American amusement parks have these rides with the fake log that you ride in. I love this. Oh yeah, this is exactly the same. This looks like any amusement park that I've ever gone to. Oh. It's been a while since I've been to an amusement park. This actually brings back some memories. And then this part where you go down and it splashes you at the end. <laughs> oh! Usually there's a big tidal wave that comes and gets you all wet. Huh, a little different. Huh. Okay. Still looks fun. Yeah, in America, the point of those rides is kind of to get you wet. It's kind of annoying. But uh, that looked like there wasn't too much getting wet. Uh, it's kind of nice. Oh, wait, look, there was a... There was a... There's a whack-a-mole. And it's spelled whack-a-mole. Like the English spelling. Ha! <laughs> okay. Thunder coaster. Intense. 
Oh, so you do have wooden roller coasters as well. Yeah. The United States still have a lot of wooden roller coasters. Just like this. Looks just the same. This looks pretty fun. I have a soft spot for uh, wooden roller coasters. Even though it kind of seems like they could fall apart. <laughs> Nightmare! You have, uh... You have scary roller coasters as well. Intense. Is this intense because it's really scary? Not because it's got huge hills. Ha! Swings. Oh my goodness. This is one of the most... I mean, this looks like the same company that sells the swings to all of the American amusement parks. Sells it to Norway because this swing... This looks the same as any swing I've ever seen. Huh. Bumper cars! Yes! Yep, good old bumper cars. You kind of bump into someone that you don't know and it's a little awkward. <laughs> then you just drive away. Fun and games, yes. Games where you knock stuff over. Oh! You know, I've seen stuff kind of like this but never something quite like this with mechanical frogs. That's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Yep, yep. Oh, here we go. This looks like more of a modern roller coaster. Yeah. Speed monster. Oh, yeah. There we go. Yep, yep. I have built up my... <laughs> I built up my roller coaster tolerance to be able to go on rides like this. And actually even maybe have fun doing it. Oh, it does start you out pretty fast. That's cool. Oh man, I'm actually getting a little bit of the sensation of being on the ride just from watching this point of view. I'm actually getting a little bit of the the feeling. Carousel, classic, classic carousel. Carousel's a carousel. Driving around, wait, oh wow. Uh, they're driving on a track, but are they in control of these? Because they're not on a track or anything, like, uh, not locked into a track. Could they actually steer these little cars anywhere? This is a little more interesting than the American version. Huh. Is the car driving itself? Huh. Oh. This is, uh... We have stuff like this. This is a little interesting with the fan. Okay, still similar. <gasps> Sky Coaster! <laughs> this is uh, exactly the same in the United States. This is a classic where you get in the little swing and they uh, sw you go on a giant, ridiculously huge swing. Yes, I've never, I never had the courage to do this. Never did this. It was scary watching people do it, to be honest. Ladybug. Okay. Yeah, I've seen this in the U.S. as well. Pretty standard. <laughs> Kid rides. Oh, I can't do stuff like this. Where you're just spinning. Where, where you're just spinning. That'd just make me sick. Oh, this is like a little exploring thing. I've never seen anything quite like this where you walk around in a wooden house. It's kind of cool. Oh, fry Fried's Bakery. Hmm, what do they sell here? Hmm. Oh, slushies! <laughs> good to know that Norway has slushies as well. That's good. <laughs> Spin Spider. Oh, I, I don't know about the spinning. I don't know about the spinning stuff. Okay. 
Oh, you get swung back and forth and spun around in a circle. See, I'm better at riding roller coasters, at least, where you go in a straight line up and down, even in a circle. But these, these rides where you just spin in a circle, I don't get an enormous amount of pleasure out of those. This one isn't too bad. This is more of swinging. I'd be okay with this one. You're, it's more of a swing than a rotation. Wow, this thing is big. That thing was massive. I don't know if I've ever seen one this big. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, pirate, look! A, pi a pirate ship swing. <laughs> That's a classic in American amusement parks, the pirate ship swing. Yeah. The canoe. Oh, oh, the canoe, not a pirate ship. Usually it's a pirate ship in America. Here it's a canoe. <laughs> yeah, these are fun. Ooh. What do you do here? Why do you have a wheel? Oh. Whoa, do you get to control the little ships? With your wheel? Oh, I wish they had been able to do this. We don't have, for some reason, American amusement parks never had anything as technologically advanced as even this, controlling little boats. It was always the most simple games. <laughs> Space shot. Uh, goes up and down. Does it go up and down a couple times, or just once? Okay. Oh. You go up really fast. And then down. Oh, you go up and down. I don't know if I've ever seen one quite like this in person. Interesting. <laughs> Okay, this is like Wild West themed. Is this a... Uh... Yeah, this literally looks like Wild West country themed. <laughs> yeah, country store. It says country store there. Yes. We have things like this. We have stuff like this game. Where you race. Okay. <laughs> A little children's train ride, okay. The funny thing is you go on these, not just as a child, but when you're a parent. So when you're an adult with your kid, you kind of hope that the little train ride is <laughs> a little exciting. <laughs> you kind of you kind of hope that the little kitty rides are kind of good, because you're going to have to ride them. Water fight? What? I've, yeah, we don't have anything like this. Do you get into a water battle with someone? You try to fling water balloons at each other? <laughs> That's funny. I've never seen something like this. Hi. <laughs> Super splash. Here we go. Does this splash them? Oh, the, they have like uh, raincoats, ponchos so that they don't get too wet. This is the kind of water ride that is supposed to get you wet, right? Oh, there's actually a little, uh, little bit of a roller coaster aspect to this, a little bit, not much. This is like a more modern version. I haven't seen, I haven't seen a water ride like this. This is a little bit more modern. Oh, in a tunnel? And then you get splashed. Okay. Okay, that's fun. That's fun. Yes, okay. And then there's people who stand, there's people who stand next to it trying to get splashed <laughs> as well at American uh, amusement parks, too. 
<laughs> oh, and then they run away. Yes, it's funny how people do the exact same things, no matter where you are in the world, at an amusement park. They do this same stuff. That's funny. Hey, yeah, you gotta run away before you get wet. <laughs> okay. Oh, Eric's top five rides. Okay, top five. Tommer. Tommer, stupid. Number four. Lupin. I think we saw this one. Okay, this is like a roller coaster. Number three. Super Splash, the splash one. Okay, I like that. I like that. <laughs> yeah, this thing. This thing was crazy. This thing is huge. Spin spider. Okay. Oh, and this one. This is like the real modern. This is the modern uh, roller coaster. Yeah, this is like a true, scary, exciting roller coaster. Oh, his opinion. Thunder coaster is too shaky. Yeah, wooden roller coasters are usually very shaky. True. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, that little raft on the right-hand side. That is a classic water ride in America as well. Yeah, it seems like all the theme park rides are pretty similar. Okay. Okay, okay. That was interesting. Interesting to compare this to the United States and my childhood, basically. This was by Eric S.C. Eric C. Uh, gotta give that a like. I did like this. Uh, anybody, any comments? Thunder Coaster was the scariest roller coaster I've ever been in. Yeah, because it was wooden and probably scared that you were going to fall out. <laughs> uh, oh, yes. You spin around while you spin around. <laughs> it's exactly why I don't like some of the spinning things. They spin you while they also spin you on a different axis or something. And I, I'm not there to get sick. I'm there to get amused at the amusement park. Anyway, I, I enjoyed this. I uh, I'd never heard of Tusenfried Amusement Park uh, in Oslo or near Oslo. And I had just never seen an amusement park in Norway. But uh, it makes sense that it's very similar to just an amusement park anywhere in the world. In the United States, certainly. This reminded me of many amusement parks I have gone to growing up. This is actually very nice. Very soothing, in a way. Like I was there. Anyway. If you felt soothed and enjoyed this video as well, feel free to give it a like or leave a comment. And if you're interested in more videos like this, me reacting to Norway, Norwegian culture, places in Norway that I've never seen, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, thanks for watching and see you next time.